Thank you for visiting the 603 Outsiders YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a short vid on uh, roasting a Brazilian to the dark roast degree. Now many would have you believe, many coffee roasters, that what they do is very mysterious. It's an art. I'm just not convinced that that's true. Um, it's kind of sciencey, but I ain't no wizard, that's for sure. I don't look at myself as any kind of artiste. Definitely not a gourmet. I'm a coffee roaster. It's a job. It's work. People ask me if I love it. No, it's, it's, it's work. Do I enjoy crafting a product that is enjoyed by many, many people? To date, we have roasted the, enough coffee for millions, many millions of cups of coffee. Do I get a great deal of satisfaction from that? Oh yes, yes I do. But what we do is not that complicated. It is certainly not complex by any stretch of the imagination. There may be some comments regarding the cooling bean. I've seen videos of roasters who, while when they drop the beans, they're letting that cooling tray arm spin, believing that that helps cool the beans. We've done many tests, it just isn't so. The problem is when you expose that cooling tray grate to air, the air is going to take the path of least resistance and not go over the beans to cool them off. We've tested this ad nauseum. It's not even close. Now there are some exceptions. There are some very large drum roasters where when that bean uh, when that cooling tray arm is spinning, uh, there is no exposed grate. But even then, I don't think there's much of an argument because the beans would be piling up. You would have differences in thicknesses of bean height, which would, of course, affect the air. What you want to do is you want to drop those beans into the cooling tray level them out as quickly as possible and give it full air. That arm is used to expel the beans from the cooling tray only. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave comments. Oh, and remember, in many of our videos, there is a one person, one time use, 60% off discount that includes free shipping hidden somewhere in the video. Not all videos have it, but some do. Also, there are some 15% uh, discount codes that are easily read on the intro and the outro uh, uh, tiles of the video. Enjoy. There are basically, when roasting coffee, three types of control that you have over the process of pyrolysis or heating up the beans interior. One is airflow. We can run air through the cooling bin to cool the beans. We can uh, run it through the roasting drum to clear the chaff or to modify the temperature. We have the throttle, which is basically just gas, from no gas to the high gas. And gas is measured by water column. We typically are just below the uh, nine range when we're roasting. And then you have time. So you're making profiles for coffee based on these three inputs.
So this dark roast is done. Turned out perfectly. I think our customers are going to enjoy it very much. They always seem to. Not too dark. We don't burn our beans. We work very diligently not to scorch the beans. So, hope you enjoyed the vid. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And uh, the next episode will be out next Saturday. Thank you.